Zalin from Javelin, continuing to play with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today we'll take a look at the center of the mass as a feature. Prior to SOLIDWORKS 2013, we were still able to create a, a reference point or a sketch point in the center of the mass by running the mass properties and just taking a note of these coordinates. Some of us even use the macro for that. So you're going to create a 3D sketch maybe and just put a point at that location or you're going to use a reference point for that. The problem with this is there was no parametric link between that point and the actual model. So if you had to modify the model, this thing will not change. In 2013, as you can see, the center of the mass updates with the part changing. So it's, it's really, really elegant and uh, very, very efficient. Let's see how this is being done. So allow me to delete the center of the mass feature and let's recreate it. You can run the mass properties and turn on create center of mass feature. There is no OK button by the way, so you just have to close this dialog. And a center of the mass will be created right here after the origin. I actually prefer a different approach. That is running the center of the mass as a command. So I have no idea where it is right now. I'm just going to look for it. And I'll, either I'm going to drag this icon on, on one of my toolbars, so I have it available, or I'm just going to execute the command from here, and the center of the mass has been placed. What's uh, even more interesting is that you can actually create reference points for the center of the mass at different points in time. So let's go back before this extrude has been created. I'm going to right click on the center of the mass, and I'm going to create a reference point right there. Let's go forward in time. As you can see, the center of the mass gets updated, but that reference point re remains a history dependent feature. So that's pretty good. That means I can create another one at this point, and maybe another one at this point, if I really want to. So right click, create center of mass reference point, and as you can see, you can actually uh, control this quite, quite nicely. Now let's see what's happening when you go to the assembly level. As you can see, I have two components here, and I have the center of the mass for each and every one of those two parts shown, and also those three reference uh, points. Uh, what I can do, I can add also a center of the mass for the assembly. So that's the center of the mass of the assembly. Unfortunately, you cannot create reference points for the assembly, but really it wouldn't uh, make any sense, just because the assembly itself is not, um, is not rebuilding feature by feature, right? It All the components are being resolved in one go, so you, you cannot really leave any trace. There is no history in an assembly. What's happening at the drawing level? So let's go back to this component and let's create a drawing for this part. So I'm just gonna get here, maybe the front view, and let's make sure that uh, the scale, it's a, something smaller, maybe 1 to 4. Okay, and let's add a few projections, and maybe even the ISO view. And now, what I want to do is to insert the actual center of the mass, because I want to put some dimensions there. So, you can insert it as a model item, and let me insert it in all the views. And what's even more interesting, you can dimension to that center of mass. And as I said before, this is parametric, so if the part changes, this dimension is going to change, right? So let's maybe make this a little bit higher up. Let's go back here. And as you can see, it has been moved. That being said, I can think of at least one more major improvement to this functionality. What if you'd have the ability of adding center of mass features or reference points to the bodies. For example, I have here the bottle as a solid body and the liquid inside. If I would find the center of the mass for the liquid, it will enable me to grade my bottle. I would find out where is the half level for the bottle. That is not possible at this time in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Hope is going to be added soon. In one of the next videos, probably early on next week, I'll be looking for a workaround to achieve this in SOLIDWORKS 2013, so stay tuned.